So the car is back down to just the frame. Um, I finally got all the uh, wood fixed, panels patched. Um, now everything is primed. Well, technically the inside of these panels are primed. Um, I have not primed the outside. Once I put them back over the uh, wood, you know, there'll be a little bit of bending, a little bit of nailing the uh, brads. So that would have just damaged the primer. So I will shoot the outside once everything's back together. Let's see the pieces over here. All right, so I'm going to put these back on the frame. Um, rebuild the, the frame part, so to speak, of the top. Put the panels on it. Get them in place. I will have the uh, firewall in place. Get that all buttoned up. And then take that back off. Put it back on here. And then I'll prime the outside with the epoxy primer and sealer, so to speak, and then uh, shoot the polyester primer on it and start uh, sanding that and getting it ready for paint. Um, so this is sort of somewhat of a milestone moment in that um, this whole tub thing has now <laughs> been broken down and a lot of work gone into getting this back right. Um, that's sort of a, a mix of, of old wood um, that could stay in, uh, in new wood. But that part's over. So from this point forward, it should be putting the car together. Um, Alright, so that's exciting. Hey, some progress. Alright, so all the frame is on. Well, at least most of it. And uh, I've got everything a little loose right now so that I can move things around a little bit. One of the things I've got to go uh, do some research on is if there's like some kind of rubber spacer between here, uh, between this and the actual frame itself, the chassis, as you will. Um, I started to fit the top. Um, and the side piece and the main reason I'm doing that is because I found that the top of this part inside on the frame is uh, Not the same height as the other one And I don't remember if there was a mismatch when I took it apart I guess I'll have to go back and look at some videos and Get that to brighten up a little bit um, Yeah, it's not doing a very good job anyway um, I'm trying to get the, uh, the, the sheet metal still has the holes from where the um, windshield mount goes in. So what I'm trying to do is get that uh, front panel to match with the, as they call this, the scuttle. And get these to match back into the original holes. And so I had this one hole here where these two were pinned together and that's dead on. And then we've got this one here and it's a little bit high. And then these two here, you can see both of those. And that's uh, maybe a quarter of an inch, but that certainly is there too. So this can be pushed down a little bit, but not a lot. So I'm starting to think that maybe this top piece, which I did cut, I, I, I'm sorry, did replace this piece right here and this piece right here, that maybe these got done a little bit um, too high. And that would sort of... Um, account for the mismatch that I'm seeing from here and what I've already done and then taken off is I took the uh, firewall out of the back put it on and that's when I noticed that this piece here was running a little high you can see on the opposite side here there's a spacer um, and so the way this goes is you, this panel goes over and is, is knocked in with little brads all the way down and then that spacer piece goes over this screws into that and that just spaces the firewall 
here away from the uh, the rest of the tub. So obviously these holes are going to match the ones over there, and they do. It's just that when we get up to this height, it's a little bit different. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put the um, the other uh, front almost like quarter panel on um, and see how that matches. Uh, it appears to be exactly correct, um, but it could also be low and this one could be a little high. So they, they both might be off. Um, but go ahead and get that um, panel fitted on and see how it matches. Um, and then if all I have to do is take a little bit off the top here, lower this a little bit and to get that in right, well then that's fantastic. Uh, for replacing all the wood in this area to come up just a little bit off here um, I'm gonna be pretty happy about that I mean I can if I hold it down it's uh, I don't know an eighth and a quarter and then that one's on and then that one's on the, the thing that gives me a good feeling is that this one and this one back here are on that means it's rotated up a little this way which probably means this part is the only thing that's high so it's, it's going along really well So I got the uh, other side on, and yeah, that's, as I kind of thought, exactly the case. This one's spot on, but if I push on it, you see, it's a little low. So it's exactly correct. This one, I had an original piece in here. So there's just a little bit of a gap here at the top. So on the other side, where it's um, a little high, it's more than just a little high. It should have a little bit of a gap. Um, and then that accounts for why when I uh, fitted the spacer and the firewall, this was much lower than the other side. Um, so this one's a little bit low, that's a little bit high, but when you um, add that together, it's very high. So I will take a little bit out of that one um, and then uh, be able to put this back together. Uh, so the back is, uh, goes together fairly easy. These back skins go on the, the two things I have to do. This entire piece is new. Um, so it'll take a little bit of fitting to make sure that I get, uh, these pieces in right. And then I'll have to rehang the door, um, which is not a whole ton of fun. Uh, sort of the same on this side, except that piece is not new so the door um, the places where the, uh, the bolts for the hinges are still in there and then the the whole back is um, is wood and I have a new uh, piece for it all right we got some progress the uh, obviously I've got the frame uh, prime and uh, we've got it on the uh, on the car. It, it's uh, sort of loosely in place. Got a good bit of play here, so I can move this around some. Um, there's a couple things that uh, sort of decide where this is positioned. Um, the st steel part here comes in on the back. Uh, this part, if you follow it, comes up here, down, over. And then you see wood on this side, but it's just bolted onto the steel that goes on the inside. So it comes all the way up right here, around, and then into the front here. And then from here, you have this piece. The uh, firewall goes around that piece. Then there's a spacer. Uh, I'm sorry, the... the <laughs> the panel goes around this piece. There's a spacer piece. The firewall goes over the spacer piece. And then it mounts right in here. So part of the, the tweaking of this is to get, you know, those. So this is, <laughs> this is not going to move. And the hole in the back corner is not going to move. Um, so I got to sort of position this to get it right. Um, so we're going to... Uh, and, and of course the panels have to go. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting uh, the front panels on. That will then, uh, and we'll put the scuttle on. 
and that will allow me to get this this is loose as well get that in the exact position this one's new so, um, uh, this front's new that front's new um, so that will let me get all this to work together uh, this might need a little trimming I think this one might be a little bit long and we'll find that out once we get the, uh, the panels on put the two front panels on and then fit the scuttle um, and find out exactly how this sits and get it set and get it locked in place and then we'll go ahead and put the spacers on uh, get the firewall on get it mounted to here since this is fixed and then work our way back into that corner and, and hopefully it, it matches right up if not we might need a spacer in there somewhere and closer and closer looking like a car again All right, so next steps is um, I've got a couple things I'm going to shoot with uh, the primer, the uh, backboard there, uh, transmission uh, cover and tunnel cover uh, or dry shaft cover, and then the uh, that thing right there is upside down, and what that is is where the side curtains go, um, and that goes in the back there. And then I've got a few more pieces of this marine grade plywood that I'm going to shoot as well. And they go, um, they call them access panels, but they go across here in the back. Uh, with the basic idea of, of just going ahead and getting everything um, in this back area, with the exception of the front floorboards, um, in this and buttoned up. Once I've verified all that fits together, then uh, you can see that none of these are... I haven't actually nailed any of that in and it's a good thing because I forgot to put <laughs> a couple things in uh, one more change I'm gonna make um, if you look at these right here so you've got this piece that's uh, firmly tied in here to the and then see the angle bar goes down angle bar goes over here angle bar on the bottom big one you've got this whole thing here that holds this wood piece up but if you look at it it all comes down to this spot right here um, so that's not good I'm gonna do a little bit more research and see if this area is used for anything if it's not and I'm not sure what this is either um, this is probably important so I might not be able to do this but I might at least be able to get a piece that goes from here all the way up in here so a nice solid piece and drill holes here screw that in um, and I put like pocket holes in here and then go into this piece here and that would really give a lot of rigidity because I mean this area is firm but it's all down to that one spot um, so I, I don't like that I, I'd like to firm that up this is the whole side here um, I mean, somebody many years ago designed it and thought it was fine, but I would like to add that if I can. Um, all right, so I got, uh, like I said, one more thing to shoot. Um, get that done and then start putting the back end, hang the doors, and get the doors to close. Um, I've already test fit the scuttle top, uh, or not the scuttle. It's great. Then after that, once I get these nailed in, the scuttle nailed in, I uh, go ahead and put the firewall back up uh, with its spacers and that'll pretty much wrap the body up I, I think they call it the tub once that's done I'll pull this off set over there on uh, that and shoot it with the um, sanding primer well the epoxy primer again on the outside then sanding primer and then start uh, the sanding uh, prior to painting So we're in the uh, exterior paint booth today, the uh, paint booth manager has said that we need to be on the lookout for mice, ground squirrels, and the occasional snake. But he thinks that they're pretty much taken care of, but he does want to warn us about the pollen. So we appreciate that guy. You're doing a good job, man. 
So here's where we stand. Uh, we're waiting on two T nuts so that we can finish the uh, backboard. Um, I needed uh, four to do the front. Um, I needed, there's two on each side. I actually only needed two. Uh, so I ordered the, uh, the eight for the back plus two. Um, and then I decided I would go ahead and replace um, all of these since that's such a, it, you know, it's an inaccessible area. Uh, so that left me too short, and I have to wait on that because the backboard has, uh, these bolts are, are hidden behind the fender, so you can't get the fender on until the backboard's on. To get the fender on, uh, that has to go on to be able to set the doors, and then to measure the doors, I don't want to put any panel in place until I'm able to check those doors, so... <laughs> We're just waiting on those two T-nuts, but it's come along really well. Um, I've got, uh, it's just temporary end, but I've got the, uh, the rear, uh, shelf, uh, panels, uh, cut primed. Um, you can see the transmission tunnel, uh, transmission cover, uh, the, uh, the bottom support. And there's the spacers to the front. And uh, the firewall is, is right over here. All the fenders are ready to go in. So we should be able to get those two um, T-nuts tomorrow, hopefully. Get those in. Get the backboard in place. Get the fenders on. Hang the door. Um, and, and hopefully it'll be right. Um, I, I, you know, I, I've heard horror stories on these doors um, without redoing the wood. So <laughs> I've redone the wood. Um, and now I'm going to hope to try to get these doors to fit. Um, so that's going to be a bit of a challenge, but hopefully it goes well. Uh, once we get the, uh, the doors test fitted and, and they're closing without issue, uh, then it should be fairly simple to wrap that up and go in, um, and nail the panels on, put the spacers on, put the firewall on, um, and then do the same thing in the back. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and pull this back off set it over on the rolling uh, table there, uh, seal the outside, and then start with the polyester uh, primer, sanding primer. All right, we'll see you in just a bit. All right, now we have doors. So the good news is, is they fit pretty well. Uh, the bad news is, is they don't fit perfect. Now I'll show you some of the issues we're working with here. All right, this one closes nice in the gap. Let's see if I can get an angle. Okay, so good, 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 and then too much of a gap here at the top. And if we back out and look at that, you can basically see. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but if we come in a little bit. This right here needs to go that way some. The curve is actually right, but this part sticking out. And hitting the uh, body too soon so I need to get that corrected that'll be good um, this needs to be tightened up a little bit yeah it, it hangs great plenty of clearance at the bottom it's not an issue um, but I need to tighten that up so it won't sag uh, I've got this whole back piece in got the uh, back fender zone uh, I still have to do the um, rivets in these two places I got a, uh, a nice metal uh, metal <laughs> EDPM rubber uh, strip in here to the sealant so that's not going to hold water uh, it gives this nice gap feel, uh, filling see we've got a little bit more gap here than we do back here minimal gap here so that helps fill that gap in I uh, got all the T-nuts in now the backboard is on uh, these quarters are in place. The front quarters are nailed in place. Backboard is nailed in place. This quarter is in place. Um, this door uh, has a lot more going right for it, but a couple issues with the hinges. So if we come in and look here from top or from bottom all the way up to the top, we've got a nice fit. Uh, this can be right here and needs to be pushed in just a little bit 
and that'll get us a perfect fit here at the top. That'll take up this little gap at the top. Um, the issues with this one are these hinges need to be bent a little bit right here. You can see when we close, you see how tight this is at the back. I'd like to bend the hinges a little bit and bring this away from the quarter panel some. Um, it, it's real close to interfering there and down here at the bottom. I've even bent this out some. Um, so I need to bend these hinges a little bit to get the door away. And then it is very close on the inside. See, we've got a gap, but we need a little bit more gap. Not much, but we need to move it back some. So we'll be bending uh, this hinge, or this half of the hinge, to move the door out a little bit and back a little bit. Uh, the scuttle is in place, so that's nice. Uh, it still needs to be um, welded on the bottom and welded on the other side on the bottom and then nailed across the front. Um, I haven't done that yet because I want to go ahead and put the windshield mounts on and test fit the windshield to make sure that we haven't um, lost any width. Uh, that if, if you look here when I push down, see there's a little bit extra. So I'm a little bit concerned that maybe this is an eighth of an inch, eighth of an inch three sixteenths quarter, uh, too narrow. So if I get the windshield on, that will tell me. Um, so we're about ready to, uh, once we get that nailed in, we go ahead and put the spacers on the front and be able to bring the uh, firewall over. Um, we get the, uh, the final tweaking on the doors and take these out. I'm going to finish all the edges now that we have it where we want it. And by finish, I just mean a little bit of metal work in here and there. Um, and then this will be ready to shoot with primer. We need the uh, door support in there as well. And then that'll get us to the point where we can pull this um, off the chassis. You look under here. It's come along really good. I'm going to want to come and do a little bit more before we get the uh, epoxy primer on. There's a few high spots. Here's one. There's one a little bit. You get these just right. Less amount of body work you have to do after the primer on, the better. All right, well the tub is back on the car. This everything is, uh, is buttoned down now. These are nailed in, it's screwed on. Doors are set. You got a good fit here. Um, obviously, the, I've melted the uh, the lead that was in here off. Trim this a little bit, so we'll need to add a little bit more to fill that in. Got a good fit back here. Hinges. All this is all the way in, all the way around. Good fit. I need to put this board on back here. Come around and get the fit on this side. Good fit on this side. A lot less uh, lead came off when I did this one. I sort of understood how to get that out. Um, these are uh, welded in in two places and then soldered back up at the bottom. Same on the other side. Got these back in place. Um, this is an interesting uh, sort of uh, rust here. This was, I had, uh, was flexing down here uh, to put a little silver solder in. Um, the the seal up, seal up that part and and wipe the flux up here. Um, <laughs> you see that it's immediate uh, rust in there. Uh, these are all nailed in. Doors fit fit across the bottom. This is not the green we're going to use. Um, it's close to it, but but not it. We have picked out the uh, the paint code. I'm not keeping that a secret. I just forgot what it was. All right, so the doors are now coming off. Um, and then the tub is going to come off. And go on the, uh, the little rolling table I have. 
the uh, panels, of course, put the uh, panels back up for the paint booth. And then uh, this will get roughed up again, uh, 80 grit around, and then uh, three coats of the epox epoxy primer, um, and then at least three of the uh, sanding primer. And then we'll start block sanding. Um, I'm sure there's maybe a couple places that will need some filler. Um, I got the high spots uh, down in here, but there's a few low spots. I left that as it was because they were um, less than an eighth of an inch. So that's good. A couple little spots right in here. Uh, but the rest of it is pretty good. All right, so that's next. Uh, and, and this, I, I reshot this. Oh, and uh, if you remember, I had like the equivalent of a beaver, <laughs> a metal beaver. It come in and, and drill, uh, it was 40 holes all the way up here, around here, um, into this panel and, and down there. Um, so I welded all those up. Um, it turned out really good. I'm very happy with that. I was a little bit worried about doing that um, and get the warping in it, but it turned out to be not a problem at all. So I got all this done. This has been uh, re -epoxied. Um So it's ready. All right, so uh, I think that's going to wrap up this segment, and uh, next segment we'll start uh, with this guy being on the uh, the rolling platform. Uh, the chassis is actually going to live outside while we do the, um, not really body work, but the uh, black sanding on this and get it ready, and we're going to go ahead and shoot the color on it, so that's pretty exciting. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next segment.